Hello everyone. So today we are just uh, going to do a spam classifier using and steel pot. So you can find the data set from the Kaggle by typing spam classifier data, data set. I will just link it in my in the description above. And so we'll just uh, you can just visit the sequence classifier. I just have uh, copied the most of the code from here. We, you can just uh, do hugging face and sequence classifier then do this pop up this page uh, we'll just uh, do any still bot type of the thing still bot classifier we we'll just use a distil bot model for our for training our spam classifier so uh, let's do first preprocessing and other type of thing and we'll just come back to this page to further for the training and other type of thing so first we just have to install the uh, tokenizers, a uh, transformer tokenizers and speed and torch uh, for our uh, models and for our for process procedure every everything. Then I just I, I just like keeping it the the installation is quite because I just don't like everything popping up in the terminal terminal. So I just like to keep it the quite. The key minus key means uh, the quite means it just is run in the background without any uh verbose mode uh we'll just now import uh tokenizers or tokenizers from the transformers or to model from the sequence and training argument and trainer from and transformers which you can just find you can just find after crawling through the this i just has quality from the uh from the this space from the hugging face just like in here you can see that uh it has also tried the auto sequence model model for the end training argument and trainer then i have the two data set called a raw data set the txt uh, which is just taken from an uh, from an omega for the uh, type of the spam class but this type of the real type of the data so i just like scrapping it from the omega and other types are then if we do the text and you can just see we i have the context and class in that class and so i just remove the upper part of the thing and it's uh, basically if you do the tail and you will just see that i was just laughing with the whole story the time which is ham and where do you leave is also the ham and i don't know what the money of the car new is also the ham the ham means which is not spam and there is one other class called spam which is uh spam and we have to just classify between the ham and spam uh, now if we just uh split now uh, for preposing but I just has removed the remove the next line from an, the class series of an class column from a data frame and checking whether the duplicate is present or not uh, in the in our data set. Uh, if the duplicate, the main reason to remove the duplicate is because uh, if duplicate are present, it, it will create much more bias in the, in our data set. Uh, the bias does uh, doesn't lead the trainer to train doesn't lead the models to train bit on the different data uh, for different for different data set so with, by removing that we can just remove that we'll just check if there is a duplicate or not then if there is a, if there is a duplicate then we'll just remove the duplicate from and our data set now i will just check for the duplicate data set from here and we'll just do the negation operator operator in a partner data 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 frame as you have seen here now if you use uh head to remove the remove that data set then everything which are not from the that are removed removed now we'll just check that there is an imbalance we'll just see that we can just see that there is an imbalance in and out data set means 444 is an spam and for 158 is spam so in our raw data, data text now we just include the spam the csp which is taken from then kaggle we, you can also download it from here i'll just link in the description now if we we'll just review that uh, the spam csb and we'll, and we, we have just uh, named and unnamed tree other which is not quite useful to us and we'll just remove drop that column from uh, it and we'll just stream the b1 and b2 to our same class name uh, as we have just written in above a context and class and which can be derived by rename the column and and this is equal to true they are just do in the same way now in in our same text we just also have an spam and non-spam which is an unbalanced data 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 set 
now if we just check for n spam we just give this and if we just check for n ham we just check this now now as you see uh, as you see that there is only 150 type of this spam in our previous data data set now we just include all the attribute 74 747 spam from an uh, spam classification data set from the Kaggle to our original data data set uh, which just make it to 9005 and after including now there is only 444 and we'll just uh, randomly select the 500 sample from an uh, spam data set from the Kaggle and we'll just add, add it to our original data data set which brings uh, original data set so if we just uh, check like uh, number of unique class in an uh, data data in our uh, preprocessed data data set we can just find that there are two more there are three data class which one is uh, null and other are spam and m we'll just replace the spam with a spam we we'll just replace the null with a spam and you just increase our data data, data set so we'll just say unique and just give a spam and now the for preposition type of the thing we'll just remove http https and some escape item is uh, spaces between them and others are punctuations type of the thing so if we just uh, check for and if we have just uh, removed this this is the data set from an omega which is an first data set that we have just trained earlier then doing that we just get everything aligned and we just remove every single word with just single words and punctuation from an our data and for we'll just in now to remove the stop words kind of the thing we can just uh, install an nltk and we can just download and stop words and stop words must be our english for our text so, so I have just removed not not and not from any stop word because I think it is much uh, relevant to get and not not and not, not in our data set. So you, you can just remove the post streamers and remove and stop words to remove the stop words. We can just do that and it will do everything type of things. Now to in a, in the data set context, we have to just apply everything about it then to remove the stop words clean text means it will just remove everything like above here and and from for the remove the stop words it can also remove the stop words like this you can just then our the clean text will be some like some like that now for the train and paste now after we have just created everything of our data set now we can just uh, do model selection we can just now process for our training step now first step for the training is uh train pace split we'll just train our split uh in our data set into the into the 0.1 of the take split means 90 percent is for the training and 0.1 for the testing and then it will be 24 because i want to replicate it again and more again for it so Screen size is 165 and test size is 185. Now for an uh, now for the training, we just need uh, I think uh, ID to label 0 and 1 and label to ID means we'll just map an input to output and output to input. So we'll just do that and apply same to uh, and we'll just apply same for the train level and test level for our about data set because in our that we have just have a category category data data which is ham and spam which need to be converted to um, something numerical so zero and one can be the best way now if we use uh, now if we just check our uh, our something like uh, in our login page then just they just say the auto we can just import it from the ptn digital but on case it's the same thing is done here now we can just uh, let it run and you will just download our model and for the tokenizer so the same thing is done now to tokenize to tokenize the above data frame we need something like uh, it has done i guess tokenizer yes now, now it has done tokenizer right so but uh, in our case we have just our custom data set but in the case of an 
hugging face uh, it has taken a data set from an uh, from its one uh, library from in data data set but we have a custom data set so we need to do something much more than that now this context will just con pass our context to the tokenizers and it will just give our tokenized form and in our if you have seen my previous video of an but for a tokenizers it is done the similar it will just give an uh, uh, attention marks and other type of the thing like uh, token ids and input ids and if we just run it this will just uh, give an tensor of and some that's similar to that that we can just you can just create a data loader similar to that tokenizers uh, we have from the data loader we had done in in our bot video if you haven't checked that video please go and watch and video and it will just make much more sense to you now in here i have just done detail much more than uh, that but uh, the process is same and we can do, you can just include this tokenizer inside this inside the get and you can just get same thing value from it now it's done then now we, so if you want to check the similar input ids attention marks and uh, label is uh, which is the values uh, which is the, the class to classify it is based on spam and and ham then if we do this train test split you just get that right now um the main thing i want to focus is that the max length the max length uh, you can just uh, do this is a max length is an hyper parameter tuning so for my for my data set i think 32 was the best suited for that so i use 32 uh, the pre process was done because the 32 I why I got 32 is because uh, I have done something here so uh, I just counted everything from that and get a maximum value from then from the split and I want to just check how many uh, values are between in which range and I'll just give that same thing because if you if you give much more than the prepare then there will be much more uh, uh, zeros in an input ids and as you have seen if you have seen if you have studied uh, dimension course of dimension that problem might occur in that same thing so by looking at this i just found that 32 was the best suited for that for my uh data asset so we can just write evaluate which is just uh, from an hockey face itself Face, then we just write evaluate the load accuracy for an accuracy you can just write f1 score for my i think the data set is quite balanced so i use accuracy for it and you can just write f1 score precisions and everything so we can just find much more from the here i guess then uh, i think i was then the code is also from the same from the here only so evaluate and load accuracy and accuracy is uh, something like that and we'll just write the compute matrix and which is done by the training argument itself now if we now it will just take an uh, argument from the predictions and it will just compute an accuracy according to our something like that right now if we use an training argument uh, now training argument is also similar to like uh, in from a sequence classification from an argument phase so training argument is uh, we have just imported earlier then uh, output dir means the uh, folder you want to for model to be stored right the learning rate is something you might know this is also operating parameter tuning uh, this is 2 to power minus 5 but in my case i have 2 equal to power minus 5 but in my case i have done with some something like 5e minus 5 you can just increase and decrease this according to your need uh just my best solution will be first use and learning it uh, which is literally stepper means two two equal power minus five then after training for one two more epochs and you just find that accuracy and something like that then you, just, you can just increase uh, the you can just uh, make it much like bigger like three e minus five and um, five e minus five seven e minus five in order in uh, in the that will just make it much more they will just make it much more easier to be trained and it will, will just make sure that it will hit and pat you the number of equals i have trained for the five epochs and uh, training batch size is 16 and for evaluation batch size is also 16 and warm-up step is after is just 
uh, change or do something like evaluation and other type of the thing means the one way step and we'll just type everything post everything like the trainer in the training argument and the data set we have the train earlier we have just post here train data set also eval data set is not our test data set and tokenizer we have just already computed from the recent report and complete matrix is our equal accuracy now if you we'll run this you will the model will start training right now there, there might be some issue either might be there but uh, don't worry that is not much much uh, that is not much an up and problem itself now we can just see that in the first step we can just get an accuracy of we just get an accuracy of 0 0.935 and 0 0.945 now we can uh, i think increase much more accuracy by doing much more preprocessing in our text but uh, for now we will not do because uh, I think this is much more satisfactory for our uh, everything so so for an hour uh, inference script we can just do similar to that uh, in our uh, which also done here I guess actually by creating a pipeline and you can just read much more from it rather than looking for other type of the youtubers who are just uh, pretending to do by themselves and coding like you know, using keyboard and everything that is bullshit i guess because everyone copies from it i know now we can just write transformer playline and we ha uh, we have just uh, in our in our, in above we have just seen we have just uh, clean our text and use and remove the stop post kind of the thing in above while preforcing our training script so we have to do it for similar to for everything everything uh, after for and testing and inference also so now you just write the test classifications and the checkpoint spam checkpoint will be stored from the here and we you can just check here and uh, get an which is much more suitable for it uh, for your model and i guess 0. Point, uh, i think 0. 0.315 is much more best suited for our i for our for this model so you will get uh, something you, you can just load this from our the checkpoint now now i just uh, i have kept for the 0. 0.93 for an accuracy because i don't want to get much more variability in our and i, I want to introduce uh, some bias in our model so i will use this and you can do similar to that and just copy the path from the models and get a pipeline in set the pipeline for that and that's that's all then it will just give our spam and with our scores and you can just uh, download it uh, you can just import the google collab and download it there it will be much much more easier for that uh, if you have any question please drop uh, the comment below and like the video if you just uh, love watching video for much more next context so that's all for it uh, thank you for watching have a good day bye